Hi, I'm Andrew Brogdon for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We're delighted to join Adobe in announcing that their XD to Flutter plugin is now available as early access for broader public testing. Adobe XD is a UI UX design and collaboration tool that helps teams create and share designs for websites, apps, voice interfaces, games, and more. The ability to export designs to Flutter further reduces the latency between creative ideas and product development, as an XD prototype can now become working Flutter code within minutes. For more details, see the link in the YouTube video description or swipe up on Instagram. To provide the most accurate representation of the real world through Google Maps platform-powered experiences, we're now making temporary closure information available through the Places API. You can now access the operational status of, its, of a business via a new field named business underscore status. This field can have three possible values, operational, closed temporarily, and closed permanently. Check out the post to find out more. The Chrome team has recently discovered that a fraction of a percent of online ads consume a disproportionate share of device resources, such as battery and network data, without the user knowing about it. These ads can drain battery life, saturate already strained networks, and cost money. In order to save our users' batteries and data plans and provide them with a good experience on the web, Chrome will limit the resources a display ad can use before the user interacts with the ad. For more details, see the link. Are you using Google Cloud or thinking about making the move to the cloud? Well, we are making Google Cloud's architecture framework available to everyone. This framework provides architecture best practices and implementation guidance on products and services to aid your application design choices based on your unique business needs. With the help of this framework, you can quickly identify areas where your approach differs from recommended best practices, so you can apply them across your organization to ensure standardization and achieve consistency. See the link for more details. Chrome 84 brings some updates to DevTools, including a new Issues tab to help reduce the notification fatigue and clutter of the console. There are also performance panel updates like total blocking time information in the footer, style pane updates like background image previews and a tooltip, and more. To read about these and all the updates to DevTools in Chrome 84, please check out the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Andrew Brogdon for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. All right, Developer Show 204, take two.